Hey guys, uh, it's Chris. We're here. <laughs> I actually just finished recording both of my um, reacts to Alex Rodriguez's Baby Moon. Actually, I just finished uploading, editing, recording, the whole nine yards. And I still have my microphone out and my stream labs up, labs up so Amber <laughs> uploaded. So why not? We might as well. And it's titled, My A1C Lab Results and My Pre-Diabetic Healthier Choices at Restaurants. Pfft, all crap. And come shopping with us. Guys, I don't know. I, I may <laughs> skip through parts of this. One of the things I have wanted to see is as Amber's A1C. I personally do not believe there is no way... She isn't pre-diabetic, if not fully diabetic. I think she is very hesitant to admit that because it's purely a self-made illness in her case. And she would catch so much crap. Um, and I don't honestly know if I will believe the A1C results until, unless I see an actual like paper with it on there. She can easily look up online what is the healthy way, healthy range for an A1C and give us a number just, just for crap. You know what I mean? She's really pushing a lot of health content right now because her views are really going down. Um, I will be honest. I had my A1C checked. I, my doctor... My jerk of a doctor refused to check it for me. She won't check it until you're fully diabetic. Um, imagine that, right? So I paid out of pocket and had a lab test it. Um, the lab I tested, it, it's a three-month reading for those of you who don't know what it is. It's a three-month reading of the previous three months. And it shows basically if your blood sugars were high, low, normal, whatever. Um the lab I went to, the healthy range was 3.2 to 6.4. Mine came back at 5.2 was my reading for October through December of 2023. And I want to check it again this year in the end of December. Um, 5.2, right? Oh, great. My doctor would say, fine, you're in the healthy range. I consider myself pre-diabetic because 5.2 is in the higher end of the healthy range, right? So it's like, it's closer to fully diabetic than it is to not diabetic. And in some places, some labs, 5.2 might be even closer, like to the edge of fully diabetic. Some labs may only go up to 5.8 or 6 points. So I'm, I'm like up there and I don't like that. So I, but I have had periods over the past few years where I have eaten a lot healthier. I have eaten healthy food. I've lost a little bit of weight. I, I'm up at a higher weight now, but still my weight is only, and I say that in comparison to Amber, I weighed in at 185 today. I officially started back on my diet today. I weighed in. I have a short. I have to make it public. I have it private right now. Um, but compared to Amber, I'm only 185 and I've never gotten up to 200, 250 pounds or whatever. And I've, I've generally eaten a lot healthier than she has. I'm more active. I find it very hard to believe that I would be pre-diabetic and she is, has got a perfect A1C. So we will see about that. That being said, she is sped up for time. I might skip past the shopping and whatnot, guys. We'll see. I'll link her video down below. Uh, let's get into it. And I didn't mean for the intro to be too long, but I thought it was important for maybe if you're not familiar to explain kind of what diet A1C is and stuff. And I tell you my labs, if I have them and my results and my weight and stuff, I have nothing to hide. You guys know who know me, I'm on a weight loss journey, a health journey to get my health back. And I'm pretty open with it. I am going to start doing vlogs again, so you'll see more of it, but I, I have no reason to lie. Um, it's, it's a learning process and I, admit my struggles and my achievements and it's better to just freaking be honest right so you don't end up like like this lunatic hey guys welcome to a new vlog don't mind the mess gotta get it clean i didn't mean to stop already i just want to tell you real quick that humming noise that's not on my end that's that's on amber's end it it must be her dryer or something up a little bit um it is june 16th so hello as you guys know my mom stayed the night last night and she remembered her pajamas but she didn't remember a change of clothes so i think i have a shirt that will fit her because she is a lot smaller than i but i think this might fit yeah amber there's no way you can fit in that 
dude. That's why she doesn't wear it. I don't know. It might like be a dress on her. It would be big on her. That's because it's a dress, Amber. Oh, it might be a dress on her. For those of you who don't know, if you're new to Amber, all of her shirts are Torrid dresses. They're dresses because she can't, or most of her shirts are because she can't wear normal shirts. And that looks the way it's cut like it is actually a dress. I see a lot of you commenting that you like my mom, and I love that. Mom we do, way. and she has a horrid past, and I, I don't forget her past, but I understand what addiction does to people, and um, Mama Lynn seems like right now she is trying to be a better person and stay clean and be on the straight and narrow, so I like her. I do. I like her. I don't like what she did in the past, um, and if she got back on drugs, that would be different, but I like who she is right now. And like I said, I know what drugs and alcohol can do to people. They can literally take the nicest person and, and turn them into someone you would never expect them to be. So, and it's very hard to stay clean from the major drugs Mama Lynn took. So that if she's six, seven years clean, good on her. But, you know, you, you remember, but you don't forget. But I definitely like her better than Amber because Amber sucks. It's pretty freaking great, not gonna lie. Oh my god. You're wearing just like regular black. I think it looks cute on her. It fits her better than I thought it would because she's got humongous boobs. Like tights or something? That would look cute, right? Yeah. Do you realize though if that fits Amber's um, mom that way, Amber would have to lose 300, 350 pounds before it could fit her like that. Isn't that insane? She'd have to lose her, at least her mother. And wait, that's insane. I don't know if I have anything else. Oh my god. I don't have anything that'll match your uh, pants, the issue. Plus you're just a lot smaller than me. So this matches. It's a little wrinkled, but that's what I get for forgetting to bring a change of clothes. Over. Well, that and that one is definitely a lot bigger. You can see where Amber has stretched it out. My boyfriend, he's a lot bigger than me. I'm sure he loves me saying that. But the thing is, he's like a big guy all around big guy <laughs> i'll wear his t-shirts and tank tops or sweatshirts and stuff and he gets so mad because he says like i have humongous boobs and he says that i stretch them even though they're big on me and that they have like these permanent like boob marks or something i feel like that's what's gonna happen to amber's shirt here because for as big as amber is she got no booby she's a card carrying member of the itty bitty titty committee and um it's just funny that all that weight and and almost none of it goes there but i, I just saw this shirt stretching in that area and it reminded me of my boyfriend always yells at me don't wear my shirt you're gonna stretch them out with those things and then they're gonna be like misshapen or something i don't think so but well you know i gotta respect them they're his clothes <laughs> you're fine so yeah here's another one of my shirts that i'm actually getting rid of so lucky me oh <laughs> yeah because she likes my clothing and then the clothes that don't fit her she has friends that like my clothes so yeah and it actually kind of matches pants. <laughs> it, it, it's the best we could do <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're going to bj's okay so there i apologize for frodo you guys are very gross gracious you know frodo you love them um so they're going to a freaking restaurant i want to see this footage slowed down of amber walking in and the, i want to see her reflection in the the mirror of the of the door because the reflection of the door because she's been talking so much shit lately about how much more fluidly she's moving and how easy she walks and just seeing this couple seconds of footage just disproves all that <laughs> all right so we're going to bj's last place you need to be look at those legs and that ball look at <laughs> i'm not saying that to be mean it they look so incredibly painful it's not funny there's a guy if you're not looking this old guy you can see his reflection standing behind her looking at her and the look on his face <laughs> is priceless i imagine that's the look a lot of people have when they see amber in person because i mean she's an anomaly even in a world and a country full of super super fat people amber outsizes most of them so she is an anomaly and um i just think he doesn't believe what he's seeing <laughs> Yeah, see, just the sway back and forth, and she has to swing her legs from side to side because she can't bend her knees properly to move forward anymore. Boy, that is sad. 
That's tragic. And that's why she doesn't want to lose weight, too, guys, because she would rather be this kind of deformed as opposed to the saggy, deflated, deformed. And and she, she would qualify for medically approved skin removal because it would be an actual hazard for her. Um, but she doesn't want to be saggy and, and deflated in the meantime. All right, so I got this house salad, which... Okay, a lot of meals always come with a house sat like a salad on the side. It was in replace for because my meal came with fries, but I said no to the fries, so I got this little salad instead. I don't believe that. If you did, that's really good. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. She would just be losing so much more weight, guys, if she was eating the way she said she is, if she was cutting carbs out of a lot of her meals... And, you know, not all of them. She's not totally cutting carbs, but she's cutting them some. And on Ozempic, saying how she has to force herself to eat, she would, it, she should technically, this should fill her up the way she's talking. She'd be losing more than like two pounds this week. She'd be dropping like eight pounds, between seven and 10 pounds a week, at least for the first couple of months. Okay, so here is my uh, burger. See, and here, look at this. Oh, she got a burger on lettuce and not a bun. This is a good meal, okay? Now, there's a lot of excess sodium because it's a restaurant. The stuff is cooked in seed oil because it's a restaurant. That part's not good. But overall, it's lower calorie because of the lettuce on the instead of the bun and the, the salad instead of the fries. Um... It's got more protein. It, it's a, it's a f lower carb, not no carb, but lower carb, which is good because then that doesn't spike her blood sugar. And more importantly, it doesn't spike her insulin. Um, so there's less of an inflammatory response. This is not a bad meal. I don't believe it. If she is eating for this meal, she's definitely making up for it somewhere. And it comes with like jalapenos on top. Isn't it, isn't it sad that we can't believe anything she freaking says or shows us? And then that's my mom's food. Okay, yeah. And see, her mom has been getting good stuff. Her mom got... It's some, like, Mediterranean... A, a couple, like, Mediterranean chicken tacos with some... It looks like uh, quinoa, like a quinoa salad. Mediterranean taco with pita bread and some bistro grains, I think. Yeah. That looks amazing. If I had the choice, I would pick Mama Lynn's meal. Um, now, Mama Lynn's meal... Because she doesn't have the meat and stuff the same as Amber, it probably, it's more carbs, but it probably, they're probably right on par with each other for calories. Um, but Mama Lynn has clearly been making the right choices all the time because Mama Lynn is losing more weight than Amber and she's half her size and she's not on a Zempic. Which looks like quinoa to me. That looks delicious. I love quinoa. I have some. I gotta make some. Yeah, it does. Yum. Can I be in the phone or anything? And, and again here. Here's another clip where the filters aren't really filtering. You can just see how how big she actually is in the face and in the chins when um, the filters aren't filtering and there isn't lighting and angles. I still firmly believe this woman is every bit at least 535, 540 pounds. You can't convince me otherwise. I just did some new comparison pictures in my last Amber Lynn video, if you want to check that out. Um, I, I don't buy it. This isn't a photo. But I can't oh. open my eyes because of the sun. <laughs> I look like I'm high. People will be like, she's high. You're not high. Please it's tell them. A, it's been a month. Thank you. Like, people think because at the end of the night when I do my, uh... And no soda pop either. Amber, yeah. you coax your mom to lie for you, and she <laughs> does lie for you, and I think it's partly because she feels bad your life sucks so much and because she wants to keep the peace. Do I have to mention your coming out story? It's been a month. Water. When I do my questions Of course, when I'm making the video, uh, the neighbors are out banging around on the porch and stuff. I can't wait. I like them. They're nice and all, but I can't wait until we own the house because as soon as I own the house, we'll be using that other side and turning it into just one huge giant house instead of like a duplex. So I won't have to worry about neighbors.
Eh? That's when I'm like tired and I need to conk out. So people are like, she looks so hot. And it's like, no, bro. I'm just like tired. Well, you look like crap. Yeah. <laughs> Truth be told. Aw, oh, do you? Yeah. Yay. So you don't need level. another tumbler, Amber. And I'm obsessed with this cup. I mean, I'm obsessed with a lot of them, but it's $30. It's like, what the actual heck? Since one of you ever been worried about money, you can see money's getting tight because her views real like I would love to have her views. I'd be doing a okay with them, but for her, the and and the, the lifestyle she likes to live, they suck. And not gonna lie, this one also very much calls out. This I keep stopping. I'm sorry. This is also why, like I know we make fun of her for always um. One, she touches everything, but two, she always, like, moves the first thing on a shelf in the store a lot of the time and takes the thing behind it, the thing or two, like, behind it, that one or the next one. I legitimately always do that, and I do that because, like, I have a little bit of a legitimate germ fear. Like, imagine, like, I used to scrub my ambulance, like, sterilize it crazily. I was known as, like, the crazy woman um deconning my ambulance all the time and just going like obsessively but um I own a steamer that I can surgically sterilize things um I take things from the back because exactly people like Amber go around and finger things up and touch everything and um you just don't know who's touched it and who's what. But, like, I also, it's not a legitimate, like, OCD thing for Amber. I'm not diagnosed with OCD, but my doctor did say, you, you do have, like, OCD-type tendencies, but not full-blown OCD. And I admit it, and I don't think it's a problem. My boyfriend thinks it's annoying and weird, but, you know, whatever. He lives with it. Um, she comes home and just touches this stuff and then, like, touches food and eat. Uh, I wipe everything down. When I come home, I won't pet Frodo or touch anything until I like sterilize like sanitize my hands and then I wipe everything down with an antibacterial cleaner every single piece of like groceries anything that comes in that I buy from Amazon I wipe it all down before it gets put away and then I sterilize my hands again I sterilize my phone I sterilize our keys and our keychains and I like um when my son comes home I sterilize his like I, I wipe down and clean like his phone and his book bag and his lunchbox and his like water bottle and I'll wipe down the front of his notebooks <laughs> like it's like a real thing but just seeing her touch everything it made me like it made me think of how we make fun of her and how she was doing that in the last vlog like she's so quirky but it doesn't matter because she she comes home and just doesn't wipe anything down and, and doesn't clean her hands Ugh. out to me so there's a little and weird this thing one's about me 23 yeah like look at I mean like Dude, I'm sorry. Look at how big she is. Look at that bat. She, there's no way she's 470 pounds, 475 pounds. She looks as big as she did when she was around 530, 540. I just, until I see a legitimate way in, I will not believe it. And her lying is only hurting herself. Um, her views are going to keep going down. Part of the things people li like don't dislike about her is the dishonesty. <laughs> like she acts like we're stupid so i got me a water i firmly Cheers. also believe behind people's backs she's drinking soda she 110 freaking percent is she just didn't suddenly develop all this freaking willpower <laughs> you guys you shouldn't even be at starbucks amber and you didn't need to buy that like I'm i did it. you really even need one let alone amber like look at look at this Look at the size of her. Tell me. Tell me, guys. Is this 475 pounds? Is this down... Um, 40, 50 pounds from the beginning of the year? No. No, no, no. Not at all. And she doesn't need that many tumblers. Tumblers. She doesn't. I don't know. To define your name. <laughs> Yeah, and see, her mom actually gets, they have it at her as Emberlyn. Um, okay, well, here's a little tricky thing. Um, her mom gets a, a Venny iced coffee with almond milk and sugar-free vanilla syrup, so it's pretty healthy. Here's the other thing. 
That drink Mama Lynn has is item number one. Amber's water is item number two, apparently. Her tumbler is item number three. It says items in order. It says item two of two that they made, you know, that they have to make. But items in order, five. What are the other three items? Is that how that works? Doesn't that mean there's three other items? I bet you Amber got two or three of her cake pops or some of her Madeline's that she likes. Isn't that how that works? <laughs> I mean, that's my new name now. Amber Lynn. I love that. <laughs> okay, so we're currently at Ross and my goal is I need maybe a new comforter if I can find one, but a wallet small enough to fit in here. Amber, you don't need that. Um, I'm going to skip past this, guys. If you want to watch this, watch her shop, you can. Your cat would be in style. Okay. Frodo has a little tent like that, a cat tent. And we got it for him for Christmas and he loves it. And he has plenty of room in there. Okay, so I'm currently going through something kind of heavy the last two days. With her. I have been home for a little bit. So I need a... And her volume just seems so low, guys. I am sorry. I'm going to turn it back up. King comforter, you know? Okay, guys. So I have been home for a little bit and my mom is now gone. I spent the last two days with her. And as you guys know, she stayed the night. I'm currently going through something kind of heavy. My heart's been... Oh my God, I'm going to freaking lose my mind. She goes, oh my God, I'm going through something heavy and serious and heart wrenching, but I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to tell you guys, Amber, if you don't tell us what the fuck it is, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to be done with you. I swear to God for a couple weeks, probably not, but I just had to get that out. I hate when she does this and people freaking hate when she does this and it's rude of her to freaking do this, to bait people because she knows she can't get views otherwise. I'm kind of heavy and even me, I'm currently going through something kind of heavy. My heart's been kind of heavy. Did the, did the um, online girlfriend dump her? I bet the online girlfriend dumped her. And even just thinking about it and talking about it makes me want to cry. It's a, it's a, she broke up with somebody, somebody she was talking to bailed that, that, that's what would make Amber cry. So we're just going to move on. Okay, so I have a little bit of a haul. We're gonna then you shouldn't have mentioned it, Amber. You shouldn't have mentioned it at all. That is so rude. If I say something's going on and I have a much smaller audience, I even if I don't want to give details, like I'll just say, oh, it's like there's a family sickness or, oh, there's something going on. Don't worry, I'm okay. But, you know, I'll, I'll allude to it or I'll straight up tell people. Or if there's something I truly don't want to talk about or mention online, I don't mention it because you know what? It's rude to do that. You are one of the rudest people Oh, I'm I'm so heated from the Alex react. So Amber's catching the fall out here. I'm gonna do an Amazon haul and a Ross haul. What I got today at Ross. So let's do that. Screw okay, that, so Amber. I really don't give Ross. a shit what you got. I needed a new makeup mirror. You just bought a new makeup mirror a year and a half ago. So I'm like, within the past year and a half, an expensive one on Amazon. Why do you need this one? I'm just. I'm over it. I'm, I'm pissed now. I'm so pissed. This has so many fingerprints on it. I am totally going to wash this. Wipe it down. You know what I mean? But the one that I currently sure, yeah. use, my makeup mirror, like it is so broken and I have been using it for so long. So you haven't been using it that long. The mirror I have, I've had for like five years. I'm just like, okay. I she just wants an excuse to buy something new. That's all it is. She gets her dopamine, gets her fixes from shopping and eating and eating and shopping. And that's it. Double-sided. I love it. So I did end up getting this purse. See, now that she thinks a few stupid Ann babies like that shiny purse, she's buying a whole bunch of shiny tack, you know, because she's like such a quirky girl. Amber, you're not quirky. Every freaking tween in LA probably has something like that and better quality too. I usually I a teenager. I've also loved her shows. I've loved all, which I already simple button. I don't know. I'm obsessed. So next is my Amazon haul, which I already opened these. I've always loved Paris Hilton. I've loved. Of course, another name drop. I'm a celebrity. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with celebrities because I'm like perpetually 13 years old. I thought I'm surprised you like like. Paris Hilton and stuff. I mean, she did act like a ditz, but she's actually really smart. Uh, but she's like a skinny, skinny bitch. Her show. When my mom was here, I went to Laurel. Hello. 
It was the one where Workshape Platinum Brush, and I think the bottles are just like stunning. I also got this fabric shaver because one of the dresses I wore recently, it was the one where it's like black and red and it's floral. Hello, hello. There's always like little pills on it, which is just like these tiny little things all over. So this will help get those off for whenever I wear that dress. And then last but not least, I got in the brand Grabby, there are 48 acrylic markers. You can use these on so- I can tell you those are probably gonna be crap. I've bought acrylic markers before. I use them to highlight and do stuff with my coloring. My, I'm an artiste. <laughs> I don't draw, so I don't call myself an artist. I call myself a colorist. But I tried to cheap out with acrylic pens, with acrylic markers, um, and I paid the price. They were horrible. Maybe these ones would be a little better. I'm, I would maybe get a small pack and try them, but the real good ones are the Posca pens, and they are a lot more money, but there is a reason they are worth more money. They, they are more money because they are worth it. The ones I got, they sucked, so I don't know. Maybe these ones would be better, but why does she need them? She really, she just bought all those Ohuhu markers. That should be enough for her personal uh hobby to last her forever so many but whatever things. that's fine i don't care i mean give what you want but glass ceramic metal fabric stone paper rubber wood yes and that's not what i have been doing so because i'm not wanting to turn to food anymore and that's not what i have yeah, Amber, you suddenly within the past three or four weeks have changed completely. Just like every time you start a new thing, you 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 talk about how you, you don't turn the food anymore. You don't crave food anymore. You have your eating under control. You say it. You've said it probably three times in the past 12 months. I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I just don't believe her have been doing so I'm just being a whiny bitch i'm sorry i'm getting more into like art am i the greatest no but there's I do nothing really wrong with that there's nothing i think it's good for her to do art therapy i think it's good it helps me it keeps me occupied i haven't colored in a long time i want to get back into it as soon as i get time but um it's really good for anxiety and stuff like that unlike amber who has little bouts of like nervous i have legitimate like like put me in the hospital anxiety um and it does help with that a lot it's a really good therapy just for people with anxiety who are depressed who are stressed just to have fun and unwind so i don't think it's bad for her and it's harder to eat when when you're coloring because you don't want to get stuff on your your paper but she'll probably snack but i would hope she's doing this in place of food but i have not i don't have a lot of um confidence in that really enjoy it and i just thought these were so cool so i want to just experiment with them a little bit and i also want to show you guys a couple more of the pictures. amber though i'm telling you girl you like to blow money if those aren't that great if they're a little too watery or fluid like if if they they seem weak get the posca pens they're super expensive but they are worth every penny. They are so good. I colored, so let's go do that. So please do keep in mind, I'm not the greatest, but- that That's cute. I mean, it's very rudimentary, like simple, but she did a very good clean job. It looks nice. It looks nice. I, I mean, yeah, it looks really good. And I am trying to just experiment a little bit more with like using gel pen and creating detail and shadowing. So this is the first one I did. You can do that, yeah. I have also done this one. Her coloring There's is a very, like like I said, a very um, simple kind of like immature style. I don't know. But she's really, it, it's really good. Like her, her coloring is really improved. The Ohuhu markers help because alcohol markers, like she was right to buy those. They don't. They tend to not streak and stuff. They're very saturated. Um, no, but her her stuff is very simple. It's not very advanced technique, but it but it looks it looks nice. I give her credit. It looks pretty. It's cute. There's ten cats. I made five of them pink and five of them blue. And again, just using shadowing techniques and there is a little bit of shadowing, not much. But there is some there. It's not bad. It's you can really get into a lot of technical stuff when it comes to shadowing and highlights like i follow people that make pictures you wouldn't believe with just freaking alcohol markers or colored pencils they're freaking amazing it's gorgeous and like the gel pen to make things just seem shiny i guess and then like i do want to add like texture and designs to like the wall and stuff it's just really therapeutic 
I have also done this one. Freaking adorable. This is actually the one that I'm working on now, but I am taking a little bit of a break because I've been really into just like doing little doodles like this. Yeah, she likes doing that stuff and that's good. I don't like personally doing that. It's not for me, but a lot of people like that. I am obsessed with it. So I've also done this one, two little cuties at a gym. And this one. Maybe you should uh, you should take a, a page out of their book and try going to a gym or just walking him or just, just suggesting. Which for some reason is my absolute favorite because I did so much detail. I mean, I usually do, but like, I really love- I the could um, like give her some suggestions, but I don't want to. Maybe if I remember somewhere around this coloring air section, I'll put in some pictures of some of the people I learn some of my techniques from and I'm still learning I'm still I consider myself five or six years in pretty new especially because I take two years off at a time but um I will like show you some of the uh art some of the colorists who do some amazing work that I like model myself after the, the I would like to get to at some point um I I'll stick in some pictures the flowers I put and it is it is an AI these are legitimate people who have colored these a lot of them they do uh like sped up uh where you can see them coloring and doing it a lot of them do color with me's and tutorials so it's like they're legitimately doing it it's not like coloring with like a and like i I'm, I'm not trying to be mean but like i hate those apps where people can color and make like these amazing like works of art like it's beautiful it looks good but they would like go on to my coloring like pages on Facebook and enter competitions where a lot of us were like coloring by hand and they would use these apps and it's like you know it, it's hard to compete with the apps because it's like computer and it's like in the time frame it's really hard to do but on the wood and That's just like the, only the detail why. of the hygiene products and like what I did on the cup and I don't know it's so cute like the candle I'm really over here trying, like putting cute little dots and stuff. I do like the colors she picked out. The green is always cute with like the pink and stuff. And it's, it's looking stuff on the plant and the dots on the shower curtain. And plus I just love the color scheme I did. And you can get so really cute. into like light source and stuff for lighting and shadows and highlights and low lights and stuff like that. But I think that stuff's all too involved to where Amber might not be interested in it. And right now I am working on this one. It is Colors of the Rainbow, obviously. I still haven't taken the sticker off. I love those Uhuhu -huh markers. They really are good. The staying table, but I will. All right, you guys, so it is the end of the night. Get to it, get, you, get to the A1C, Amber, Jesus. So we're gonna do questions of the day. Why do you say you're proud of yourself, but it is the weight loss shot that is actually doing the job? Explain that one to me, please yeah, and, and it's and it's barely doing the job. Come on, she's not raising her dose. She, of all people, needs a bigger dose. And um, it, it's barely hanging on. So I am actively eating less because of semaglutide. It helps with staying fuller longer. It helps with food noise kind of goes away. It helps with kind of losing your appetite a bit. It also helps with getting fuller faster. But what I'm proud of is that I am actively making smarter choices. Barely, Amber, barely. I do go out to eat with my mom. As you guys see, we do go out to eat a couple times a week, but I don't order takeout anymore. I'm not saying- I don't buy that. I'm sorry, I, do I don't believe that. If I was an ambitious person who was a complete psycho, or I was a Kiwi farmer. I'm not linking them in the psychos, by the way. They are amazing with their research. So I'm not, I'd be surprised somebody somewhere isn't able to find a camera with a street view or something of Amber's building that, that doesn't like stream 24 seven that shows like the door dash people come into her door, like seriously. And it's off the table completely, but it's not something that I do. Like today's June 16th and I've ordered takeout twice and I used to do it every single day, multiple times a day. It's not only that, but it's like, I get a burger with no bun. Instead of fries, I say, hey, give me, you know, a side salad instead. And I thought carbs didn't bug you, Amber. See, this is like, if she's really thinking this way, it's a good thing because like I, I've said for so long, she's always worried about nothing but calories, but it does have more to do 
with than just the calories. Yes, they're important, but what they're made up of matters. That bun, those carbs, it spikes your insulin. It, it has an inflammatory response. It prevents you from adequately tapping into your fat stores while it's elevated. It's this hormone that's, that, that signals fat store. It's like, it, there's a whole myriad of things that go into it beyond just calorie amount. And it's just, it's forcing her to make healthier choices, okay? Green beans with a little bit of an oily dressing may not be the best choice, but it's better than French fries. The salad with a little bit of croutons and a dressing may be not the best healthiest choice, but it's better than the fries. The lettuce is better than the bun. So it is an improvement. I would love to believe this is true. I really feel like it's an act, especially if she's going through something so heart-wrenching. Ask me if I care. I'm sorry, I can't find my sympathy bone, but... Um, if she's really going through something so heart-wrenching um, and she's really trying to put on this act, I'm cutting carbs, I'm getting a burger on lettuce with a salad and no fry. I, I think she definitely broke up with whoever she was talking to and she's really trying to put out that, that persona that she cares about her health, she wants to lose weight, she's trying. Until she snags someone, then it'll all go back to hell. Instead of standing around and like eating tons of chocolate and chips and this and that. You have chocolate in your refrigerator. People pointed that out. Someone in my comment section pointed that out to me. I didn't know that's what that was, but that she had a box of chocolates after she said, oh, I'm not eating sweets. And then that Starbucks order. Let me know if you guys know what that means. It said items in the order five. You guys only showed us three things so there was like two things that weren't accounted for in that order what were they i know amber two of her favorite things she admits are their cake pops and their madeline cookies and the cake pops she always buys two at a time so what's that say and they're like 170 calories each that's horrible that like i have a little piece of chocolate here and there or i have a couple chips here and there like i am actually amber if you don't give me an actual a1c number i'm i might scream choosing Get on like, with to it. make better choices like when i was at the restaurant with my mom I then what sorry i hate to keep stopping but then why the frick do you still have corn pops why do you have why did you buy protein freaking cereal when it's garbage you should have got eggs and cottage cheese and stuff like that why are you buying big bags of greasy oily sodium laden pasta at trader joe's why are you getting rolled up corn chips Ugh, why do you have chocolate in your refrigerator? I so badly wanted pasta. I wanted their shrimp scampi pasta and I knew that that wasn't a good choice for me. I'm not perfect, I'll never be perfect, but I- And I also think she's mad because her mom is showing progress and people are giving her the praise that Amber wants. Um, and this attitude, oh, I'm not perfect, I'm never gonna be perfect. No, nobody expects that, but Amber, but you should hold yourself to a little bit of a higher standard. Be like, I'm gonna do this I'm, and, and really try to put in your best. Amber's thing is she has this lax, I can start tomorrow, I'm not perfect, it's okay. And then she lets herself one little slip and she goes completely off the rails. She needs to be stricter with herself and her food addiction is so bad. She needs, she needs to actually like abstain from many, many things, at least for now. I am making small changes. Some glutide helps with appetite. Amber, you need big changes right now, real quick. You're a 500 pounder and you're having these health issues. It's gonna start going to hell in a handbasket. You don't have time making these little small changes. You've been making small changes for years, no success. Sometimes you just gotta do the hard drastic thing and be uncomfortable and suck it up and deal with it. But semaglutide isn't the one making the choices. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because if you weren't physically unable to stop eating, you know, if, if it wasn't causing you to feel sick and not want to eat, you would be eaten. But I'm making for myself. So that is why I'm You're proud. And please don't get me started so. on how easy it would have been for me to have a Frappuccino today at Starbucks. But I chose a freaking water instead. I don't buy it. Something happened. I think you got a water and two cake pops. What were the two items that were missing? 
bed. Like, it's things like that. Semaglutide ain't doing that. That's me. But I'm not going to dismiss the fact that semaglutide is the reason why I am actively losing weight right now. You said you got your labs done when you went to the med spa. What did they say your A1C was? Did you even get those results? I actually did get those results, so I'll put them right here. So Screening the presence of diabetes, five, consistent with the absence of diabetes, 5.7 to 6.4 is considered. Okay, so then technically, according to this, I would be really close to being pre-diabetic. Um, oh, court, see, according to her lab, 5.7 to 6.4 is considered pre-diabetic. In the lab I used, 6.4 is just considered part of the normal range so you see how there's a difference so and since i'm 5.2 5.2 5 i i still consider that too close to being in the pre-diabetic range i want it under five i want it like four or four and a half um 5.7 to 6.4 is consistent she's saying hers was 5.3 that this could be pulled off of the internet. This could be pulled off of the internet. I'm not trying to be mean, but she's a known liar. Like I said, I'm a quarter, a fraction of her weight. I have gone through episodes where I have eaten very low carb. I've eaten vegetarian. I've eaten very healthy, whole foods based. I don't drink my sugar 90% of the time. And she's saying that her a1c is 5.3 when mine is 5.2 I, I i don't i don't i don't believe it i i don't believe it i would put it more in the five to seven to six range around the pre-diabetic there's no way her a1c is essentially the same as mine i'm sorry i just don't believe it i'm power leveling here i i don't care because she is not for any instance changed her diet and eaten healthy and lost weight she's 500 some freaking pounds almost 600 pounds for the majority of the past like four years so here are my results my a1c is 5.3 which means i am not even a pre-diabetic i don't believe it i don't believe it i'm sorry that's my medical professional opinion this i, I don't believe this is her paperwork i don't believe it's hers so yay i know like a lot of people don't share their medical but literally so yay at this point i have shared so much with you guys like i literally showed you guys like word for word all my medical stuff when i was diagnosed with uterine cancer so I, I believe she had cancer i don't dismiss that but i don't believe her weights and i sure as shit don't believe that a1c i'm sorry I'm I'm sorry. It's just it's impossible. I know there's freaks of nature and unicorns out there that can that are like on my 600 pound life that are huge and don't have diabetes. But Amber's diet is so horrendous. I can't believe she's at not at least at, at least not pre-diabetic and that her A1C is essentially the same as mine. Which that makes me horrified. That makes me even more inclined to want to change and get mine down. Jesus Christ. All the healthy eating I've done, and I go walking and all that, I'm only 185 pounds compared to, like, her and our A1Cs. Is, I, I feel I'm horrified, actually. <laughs> okay. I'm having a moment. Sorry. At this point, you guys see my A1C is, like, no biggie. Do you think the snake bites would fit? I think it would be so cool to see you in the snake bites again. Don't give her ideas. Oh. No, sadly, like I had snake bites for like six years and I took them out for literally only eight hours and both of them closed up. So I'm stuck with two holes in my lip, but I can't put the piercings in anymore. And honestly, I don't know if I would if I could because I've chipped my teeth because of the snake bites. What does your provider at the men's ball recommend for you with the regard to protein? Everybody is different. It is always good to ask your provider and you. Actually, the whole protein topic actually came from her. That is like where it began. And since then, I've been hearing it from literally everybody. Amber, she people have been telling you to focus on protein, eat higher protein, cut back on your refined carbohydrates for years, literally years. Your lipedema doctor, told you you need to be on a whole foods, very ketogenic diet, high protein focused diet because of your lipedema. Like this is not, this is not a revolution. You just don't listen. 
He's the one who told me literally during my first appointment, get your protein in, make sure you hit these marks. Always try to eat your protein first. And if you're not feeling hungry, still try to get that protein. So yeah, it was definitely her who started the topic. And then I started learning more about it. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Okay, anyways, I don't know if I'll actually upload this one today. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow morning. But, um, well, I'm actually going to I'm gonna put my stuff away. And I'm not going to do any more reacts today because these girls have me angry. I will do some more tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Do you believe that that, because that was a very zoomed in, no personal information at all picture of, of that a1c do you believe that that's her a1c do you believe her weigh-ins just let me know all the things <laughs> um and i i will just i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye